This ice maker was brought to my shop. Um, it had a problem with this electronic PC board. Now this board controls everything on the ice maker. When it takes water in, the size of the cubes, when it drops the cubes. Um, and this board is faulty, very expensive to replace. So I'll show you how I disconnect this board and make this ice maker run with a relay and two thermostats. Now, this thermostat at the bottom here is a Renko. We refer to it as a double door thermostat. It's got a range of minus 26 and plus 3, but we're going to alter on that. Now, what this thermostat does, this little relay is connected to the thermostat. When you put the thermostat in, in the cycle position, the, the relay contacts closes and when you turn it, it open. So all this thermostat really does is switch this relay on and off. Now this thermostat, the, the bulb, the, the sensor, I've mounted it inside here. If you have a look, I've put it on with these little cable ties. It goes in here and it goes to this thermostat. Now normally on these ice makers, when this little tray down here gets close to about minus 25 the ice cubes are the right size then it has to go onto a hot gas cycle to release the ice cubes and that are all run through this thermostat here but we have to alter on the settings because on this thermostat it says um, constant in plus 3.5 now 3.5 is a temperature where the thermostat will switch on but we want it much warmer than 3.5 we went we want at least 10 to 12 degrees celsius and what i do is i just alter on the calibration screws here to alter that but what this thermostat all this thermostat do is switches the relay on and off now this relay has got a uh, a normally open and a normally closed contact. Now, this ice maker has got two modes. In one mode, the compressor runs, the water pump runs, and the water circulates and the fan motor runs. But when the ice cubes are formed, it goes into the other mode. Compressor carries on running, the pump stops, but the hot gas solenoid activates to allow hot gas into the chamber to release the ice cubes and once the ice cubes drops this thermostat switches this relay onto the mode again where it's at the water pump will run and it will refrigerate and you have to just get your calibrations right so the cubes are the right size when this cycles and all the cubes must drop before this sets back switches the relay on again now we've got a second thermostat here. This second thermostat is a normal, it's a rookie single door thermostat and that's the temperature range it works at but we don't want that temperature range. This, this thermostat is for when the bin is full to switch it off. Now if you have a look inside the bin and you'll see this tube here, I've spiraled the thermostat bulb around this. So once the, it's full and the ice cubes touches this, it should switch it off, but not on the temperatures that set here. So what I do with this Aruki thermostat, if you open this back cover here, you'll find a little screw, and I tighten the screw to the point where, can just pick this up, where you get the shortest differential. Now the differential is the period between thermostat switching off and on. So when I switch it off in the off position, then the, 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 the compressor should cycle and it should break all the electricity. So everything should stop because your bin is full. And when this switches on again, which I'll calibrate to a temperature where the ice cubes activated, it will switch it on again. So this is for the bin being full, that is the thermostat that it cycles on, 
and this is the relay that activates everything. Now this has got a water pipe connected to the mains that let, allows water in. So on the mode, when it's on hot gas, I put power to the solenoid. So the whole defrost period it will take water in. So you must just adjust the tap to get the right amount of water in. Once it's got, uh, it goes out of the defrost mode, that's after dropping the ice cubes, and it goes into the mode it's in now for running, then it switches the solenoid off and then it obviously has enough water for the next cycle. And that's how I disconnect the electronic boards and replace it with mechanical parts. Okay, I've mounted the two thermostats, the one on top of the other on brackets, and the relay I've mounted behind there on their base, and I've put some cable ties on the wires to neaten it up. But now it's working fine. This bottom thermostat will determine the size of the cube. And what I've done is I've got cubes about this size in the middle of the range. So we can either turn it this way to make the cubes bigger or smaller, the size you want. But on a half a turn, that's the size. And this thermostat I've calibrated also about on a half a turn when, when the ice would build up and just look inside here. When the ice builds up in the dish and it touches this sensor, this is the thermostat bulb, it will switch everything off until the ice is melted and restart again. And that's adjusted on the top thermostat. So there's a job complete. Um, this electronic board I've taken out and it, the two thermostats and a relay works perfectly well.